building that will expand and shift like Lego blocks. So what's the point? And what does it say about the companies? Corporate headquarters be a monument to a company's success. Some of the world's biggest tech companies certainly think so. Tech companies, most of them started in garages, which were very humble and very flexible and adaptable. And now they're building extravagant palaces of commerce. But what they're saying is, we're here to stay. But are they? We're reading the architecture here in Business Daily. The titans of the tech sector, Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook, are all building multi-billion dollar headquarters in Silicon Valley and also in London. Apple, being Apple, is of course leading the way, constructing a mammoth new office in the Californian town of Cupertino. So big is this new headquarters that it's been dubbed the mothership which is kind of accurate given its estimated price tag of $5 billion and its sheer scale. It's set to rival that of ancient Egyptian monuments. for example, has a slide and a, yes. a playground, um, I don't know what. <laughs> there's a whole process of trying to pretend, giving the illusion of infinite freedom to their employees, when actually these companies take security very, very seriously. They are very, very difficult to get into and look around. Um, Apple are notoriously tough on public affairs. Um, and there are very clear rules and very clear barriers and yet they give the impression of this wonderful uh, free landscape of work in which it's not even work at all, it's actually fun, it's play. And um, Google in particular, you know, with all their toys and tricks for Googlers with slides and bean bags and uh, bright colours. Almost infantilising yeah. the whole workplace. It, it is. 